Attorney Schaefer. Today on What You Really Want to Know, we answer the question, my case is administratively closed. Do I need to tell the immigration court that I changed my address? The answer is yes. In fact, anyone who is currently in removal or deportation proceedings must tell the immigration court and the Department of Homeland Security, or DHS, that he or she has changed addresses within five days of moving. What does it mean if your case is administratively closed? It means that you're still in removal or deportation proceedings, but there's no future court date scheduled. It's basically a long pause or legal limbo. At any time, either DHS or yourself can file a motion to put your case back on the calendar and continue your removal proceedings. Motions to recalendar can be filed for a variety of reasons. DHS will file them if you're arrested after your case was closed or if the president directs them to continue with trying to deport you. We, on the other hand, file these motions for our clients when they have a new form of relief available. For example, if they married a U.S. citizen and how have an approved marriage petition, or if there's a change in country conditions constituting a new ground for asylum. So why is it important for immigration the immigration court and DHS to have your correct address. If DHS decides to put your case back on the immigration court calendar, they are required to notify you by mailing a notice of hearing to your last known address and a copy to the attorney that you had at your last hearing, if you had one at all. As long as the address that DHS mails the notice to matches the one on file at the immigration court, DHS is satisfied the notice requirement under the law. There is no additional mailing requirements like a signature or sending the notice by registered or certified mail. So considering the lax notice requirements combined with the fact that your case can be recalendered at any time, it is extremely important that the Immigration Court and DHS and or ICE has your correct address on file. If you did not receive notice of a new hearing and you missed that hearing, you will be ordered removed in absentia. If you move the court to vacate the in absentia order, as long as DHS shows that they mailed a notice to the address on file, the court will deny your motion to vacate and you will have no ability to ever fight your deportation or removal order. It is your responsibility to make sure that DHS has the correct address on file. And this is true even if you have an attorney who should also get a copy of your hearing notices. But don't think you're covered just because you have an attorney. I cannot even tell you how many times we received a notice for a client and we try to contact him or her and the phone number is out of service and the mail is returned to us with no forwarding address. Your attorney will not know how to reach you if you do not inform him or her that you have a new phone number or address. Don't wait to find out if you miss court and now have an order of removal when ICE comes knocking on your door. Make sure that the address that you have on file with the Immigration Court and DHS is correct today. If you're not sure what is going on with your case or you need help filing a change of address, contact an experienced immigration attorney today. That is all for this episode of What You Really Want to Know. Thanks for watching.